Hi guys, so now I've got a few sets made for the D&D campaign I'm going to run. It's about time I started filling it with some of these guys. Some bad uns. Check out my bullocks. Awesome, aren't they? Although I guess in reality these are more like minotaurs than bullocks. Because obviously they're standing up on two legs. But um, yeah, really pleased with how these came out. Uh, trying out some new techniques with painting. Uh, for the first time, had a go at doing some highlights. Whether or not that uh, is visible in these, I'm not too sure. But I certainly had fun making them. So I recently stumbled across this awesome 3D model maker who goes by the name Across the Realms. So go check them out guys. Again, everything I do on this channel, I'll leave the links down below. So there's links to uh, this person's page on my mini factory as well as their Patreon page. So have a quick look through. Um, yeah, loads of awesome figures which I will be, will be printing out lots more. Uh, but for, for this occasion, obviously I'm going with the Minotaurs just as I want them to be the, uh, the guardians of the treasure room. So yeah, simply a case of getting the, the, uh, the model, downloading it, and then obviously taking it into the software that I use for my Anycubic Photon Mono. Um, yeah, open up the files, and then obviously you just drag and move them around. Obviously great thing with these figures, as you can see, they've already got the supports on them, which is great. So it is just a case of opening them up, and then printing them out, basically. And that's exactly what I do here. I now get a lot of my minis from my mini factory, just because they have so many awesome 3D model makers there. And they also do their own resin, which is pretty cool. And they sent me one of their bottles just to try out. So I'm using it in my Anycubic 3D printer, but obviously this can be used in any printer. And yeah, really happy with how the results came out. And the one thing I didn't notice about this stuff, it's a lot thicker than the other resin I used. Uh, I'm not too sure how sort of that increases it or makes it better. Um, obviously I'm no expert when it comes to 3D printers and even less on the resins. But yeah, the resin was a lot thicker and yeah, it seemed real good quality. So yeah, prints came out really well. Obviously, it only takes a few hours for them to come out. And yeah, really happy with the prints. Really ha happy with the uh, the resin. Um, yeah, just ge generally happy, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, love these figures. Nice and beefy, plenty of definition, and nice and muscular, which is uh, which is just awesome. So obviously, I'm sticking with the, um, the paint from Army Painter. Again, just because they sent me so many awesome colours for well a D&D range set. So I really am sport for choice when it comes to uh, determining what colour I want to use. Which is great, because obviously I really do want to sort of start experimenting more with, uh, with my painting. And basically, I say, in this one, it's the first time I've had to go doing some highlights. Whether or not I did it right or wrong, I don't know. Uh, but I'm pleased with how they came out. So usual thing, starting off, getting obviously good old base coats on. Um, sometimes you have to do two coats, sometimes one coat's enough. It obviously all depends on sort of how rich or how thick you, uh, you want the paint to sort of look. Plus I kind of water it down a little bit in the, uh, the wet palette, um, just because this makes it easier to go on. And again, it's, it's a nice thin coat, so it doesn't look too thick or blotchy or blobby or I don't know what the term is to be honest. Um, we all know my paintings are sort of fairly basic, so my terminology is even sort of more basic, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So yeah, get the colours on, um, and yeah, I'm pleased with how they came out. Obviously not too many colours involved in these, these two characters, but that's fine. Uh, and then a good old wash. Uh, these don't really need much of a shaking. I do generally give them a bit more of a shake off camera, and then when I come to film it, I give them another little sort of little shake. Um, yeah, and again, I'm going for a, a dark tone on this one. I've got loads of different washes, which is awesome. I do want to have a go, and I say this all the time, I do want to have a go at making my own washes up soon, um, and it is something I need to do, especially as I have now got lots of miniatures that I'm going to be painting. So yeah, I will need lots of uh, wash, obviously. So obviously I put loads on, but then I then, then normally go over it and sort of like just take some off and obviously just wipe it on a cloth. Um, so yeah, it's obviously you can have as much or as little of this sort of wash on as you want. Obviously you really want it to go into all the definitions, especially on these uh, these chaps. Uh, although I think this one might be a lady, not too sure. Because uh, obviously they are very muscular. So you want all that definition to sort of show through. So I'm still using the contrast paints at the moment that I've got. But I have got some speed paints on the way to me from Army Painter. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to get hold of those and give those a go. So I'll definitely be doing a video sort of showing how I get on with them. And yeah, how they sort of look and perform basically. So yeah, as you can see, obviously I put my figures on the old cork with a bit of blue tack. Just so I find that nice and easy to sort of obviously hold them and paint them. And obviously it's a nice cheap way of doing it. And then it's just a case of taking them off and then obviously painting the underneath bits that obviously I couldn't get to, um, other bits obviously were stuck to the uh, the white tack, which is say, easy enough to obviously paint these little bits, um, and then get them ready to uh, to put on their bases. 
But this is where normally I would have put it straight onto the base. Uh, but I thought, no, I'll have a little go at doing some highlights. Again, something I have not never done before. Normally I'll just do a sort of basic paint job and then a wash and then I'm done. Uh, but again, I'm really enjoying painting now and I'm loving painting these figures. So I want to try and improve on my skills um, and obviously make the figures look as good as I can, really. So what I'm basically doing is going over all the, uh, the higher areas uh, with the original paint colour that I used just to obviously make them, well, again, highlight. It's kind of in the title, really, I guess. Um, yeah, I am going to be watching a lot more painting tutorials just so I can get obviously the highlights better. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased with how this came out. I think just adding the extra sort of tone of colour uh, just makes these figures pop a bit more. Makes them look a bit more realistic and a bit more, well, sort of natural looking, I guess. Or as, as natural as you can be for a minotaur that's wielding a blood-soaked axe. Uh, but you know what I mean. And there we go, really happy with how they've come out. I say, I think the highlighting bit does add a little bit more to them. I say, because there are now sort of a few more subtle shades of, uh, of their colour, sort of toned skin on them. And obviously, again, I'm keep, keeping with all the clear bases now, just so that when I put these on my sort of terrain pieces that I've built, you can obviously see the terrain underneath. As you can see, I had a little slight problem here, trying to get this little sucker off. Um, got there in the end. It did take a little while. But uh, yeah, so these are obviously the, uh, the bigger size bases. Um, these are, I think these are, was it two-inch jobbies? Uh, just because obviously these chaps are bigger, so they take up more, well, more room, basically. And yeah, just gluing them down, making sure I try and get them in the center, because obviously once they're down, I don't want to move them again. And this shows how much I do love painting now. When I looked at it, I thought, oh, I didn't do any more sort of highlighting to his mane. So yeah, normally I would have just sort of left it and walked away. But say, I am really enjoying the painting now, and especially enjoying painting these figures, because these figures will be used. Um, and not only used, but obviously when people come round and I play a game of D&D with them, they're going to be moved and handled possibly by other people. So I want them to look as good as they, they really can, I guess. So yeah, doing a bit of the, the horns as well, just adding a few little lines. Um, again, I'm really sort of experimenting here, trying out here. Uh, but I was happy with the end result, which is the main thing. So if I'm happy with it, then that's the main thing, because obviously they're going to be used by me and looked at and viewed by me. So yeah, really chuffed, really happy. And there's my bullocks. Hope you like my bullocks as much as I like my bullocks. Um, <laughs> I'm going to stop saying bullocks, but yeah, so I think they look really good, and obviously they fit well and go well with the treasure room, which is possibly where they're going to be guarding. Obviously, I don't want to say too much, because I'm sure the people who are going to be playing this are possibly watching. But um, yeah, so I don't give too much away. No spoilers here. So guys, go check out my mini factory and their Risen. Links down below, as well as across the realms for all their lovely miniatures that they do, as they are pretty awesome. So obviously the other thing that goes with Dungeons and & Dragons and these figures and the sets is obviously some lovely dice. And I've got these great ones from Easy Roller Dice. So they're nice and metallic, uh, nice metal ones and shiny and yeah, very sparkly. So yeah, go check them out guys. Again, link in the description. It's always links in the description. Um, and obviously they're the guys that sell my dice tray. So if you want to roll your dice on my face, go check them out as well. Um, and yeah. Go and have a look at the wide variety of dice that they do, which is pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I uh, just want to say a quick shout out and thank you to all my patrons, as well as the sponsors for helping making it possible for me to sort of keep making these videos and obviously buying the materials I need to build stuff. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave comments down below, hit the like button, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, take care. Bye for now.